Hi, Mia. Hey, nice to see you guys. Yeah, and hi, Laura. Um, you know, hey. I heard, I, I keep hearing about this MyFest thing. Like, like, what is it? And it just seems like something that, that I should be part of because I, I just think I need something to, to feel better after all the stuff we've been through. So what is MyFest? It's basically a renewal and recharge festival over the course of June, July, and August. Um, it's a no FOMO zone, which basically means there's no fear of missing out. You can come in when you want, you can leave when you want, you can dip in for half a session or, um, you know, follow a strand of, um, of uh, related workshops. There's all kinds of stuff there, but really it's about customizing your own level of comfort and dipping in for what you want. It really is a no FOMO zone. That's, that's really good because like I, I'm not too sure about all my summer plans. Exactly. Like, um, I'm going to be busy in July. And so I like this idea, like, like they keep saying buffet. That really appeals to me because I, I love going to those all you can eat buffets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, well what, what do i do like like this sounds great like where where do i sign up and 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 like how much is this gonna cost me okay great questions first of all the buffet is totally the perfect way to think of it because when you go up to a buffet sometimes you're starving and you just eat voraciously and sometimes you just want to try to taste that lemon bar or that nice little mousse on the corner <laughs> you know dessert mousse <laughs> it depends on your appetite right so the buffet is the right way to think of it and you can go up as many times as you want the way it's arranged is it's done by monthly passes so you can get a pass for the month of june you can get a pass for the month of july you can get a whole um july june august pass and the key question is about, you know, how much does this cost? Let me take you into the um, registration zone. I'll share my screen, but uh, it costs what you want it to cost. That's the answer. It's basically pay what you can. Um, so here, let me uh, share with you guys. Uh, here's the MyFest website. And that's the first stop you want to make. That's beautiful. Um, That's really beautiful. I love uh, the colors. You know, the colors were inspired by a cherry tree and a blue sky in springtime, then pixelated. <laughs> um, but I will say, like, first take a look at the website here, myfest.equityunbound.org. You want to go to that website just to explore around. You can read about MyFest. You can look at it at a glance. You can see the offerings by month or by theme. But the key um, click is right here on register. When you click on register, in essence, you are um, moving into an Eventbrite, Eventbrite space and you want to click on this green button to register. I want to um, share with all of you that uh, there might be a moment where you get confused about, you know, when you're thinking about how you want to pay. This is the flat out fees for the monthly passes. But as I said, it really is a pay as you want kind of experience and not we are very much aware that not everyone could afford this kind of cost. And so you determine what you want to do. But here is the enter the promo code. And if you're in the registration site, you can actually read some of the distinctions regarding the like different offerings and options with discounts codes. So please go ahead, determine what you can pay. And that is something that is totally what we hope you will be doing. And then afterwards, register on your own terms. Remember that if you're entering a promo code to get a discount, that you need to click on this button at the top to enter uh, the appropriate promo code, which is on the registration page. And, and Mia, I, I understand like, like, like I might be in a situation where I can't even afford like the discount. And so- Yeah, if-, if There is an option, right? There's a totally free option as well. And again, on that registration page, you should be able to see it. Um, and you would email Equity Unbound to, to get the free version of that, but it all should be there on the registration page, the instructions to get the free code, but you can absolutely uh, get a free pass. All right, well, I'm definitely gonna check things out and try to find things, but like, what can I expect? This, this is like a a conference is it all presentations and stuff 
it's a variety of different things. Laura, do you want to uh, walk us through how it looks when you're looking at the offerings and then also how to get to those offerings? It's kind of confusing, right? It can be, but let me try and share my screen, which is probably the most confusing part about this. Well, it is choose your own adventure, so it's choose your own screen sharing adventure. <laughs> it, it's choose like it's it's sort of laid out so you you have to do a little bit of exploring to find things it sounds like right and and there's different ways to explore right so is this working can people see offerings by month yeah mm -hmm. i see all the yeah we can see so it we so we had some preview events in may those have happened they were awesome but for each month you can see the different um events that are happening this is a WordPress site, right? So I'm guessing a lot of people know how that works where there's a, an image for the page and then there's a link here for each one showing you what's going on in that month. We have new things that are coming up that are being added. And so you can browse around and look at that by month. And one thing I wanna point out too is there's this ongoing uh, section here. These are what we might also call asynchronous things that are happening, right? So the they're specifically scheduled workshops and get togethers that are happening at specific times, but there are also all these things that are just happening in internet time, right? Asynchronous time. Mm -hmm. And one of the best things I think about my fest is that because it's not compressed into just a narrow weekend or a week like a conference might be, but because it's spread out over time, that gives people the opportunity to reflect on what's going on, to network with people, to share what you're learning, to get people to help you solve problems, to, to try new things, to develop new habits. You'll see there the joy of a daily creative habit, right? We're gonna have daily creates, there's a blog network, there's stuff happening in a Slack and a Twitter. So there's all kinds of ongoing things that are wait, happening. Wait, 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 wait. I love, music. can you just show one? Like let's, what's in the music room? I, I like that picture there. But the music room has just totally taken off. I have to tell you the music room is uh, organized around our palette. We've got lots of different palettes, which are just an easy way for people to interact um, together online without complicated registrations and passwords. So people have been adding um, <clears throat> music videos to this padlet. And then one person wrote a long comment with hers and other people started writing long comments and we've been having discussions organized here around mm. The music that people are bringing to the to the table has been so much fun and we haven't even started right today is June 1st. Yeah. But we haven't already started doing this last week and we've got a, a YouTube playlist that goes with that so you can listen to it in the background. So yeah, that's just one example. And I guarantee if you poke around in here, you'll find all kinds of cool things going on. And then you can see those same things um, reorganized by theme. So if you want to look at things in terms of a specific topic or theme you're interested in, definitely browse this way, browse that way. It'll all get you to the stuff that's going yeah. on. Can we look at one of those? What's that dark matter thing? That sounds pretty mysterious. Yeah. The dark matter has, oh, wait, there we go. Great graphic. And this is an opportunity for you to work with two really fantastic people who have been helping to organize the whole MyFest experience. And if you scroll on down, you'll see this has got two different sessions associated with it. No. Woo, they're rolling. Session. I didn't even realize that's so cool. And you'll see that there's a, a widget here that uh, helps to adjust the scheduled time for when the event is taking place to your time. So you can figure out if that's gonna work with your schedule. And these are exactly the events that are gonna show up in that weekly email that I think Mia mentioned so that each week you'll get a reminder about things that you'll want to specifically register for. And those links are in those weekly emails or you can use the links that you'll find here at the website. Yeah, I, I will share my screen to show everyone what it looks like when you get your weekly email from Equity Unbound. Um, basically, if you're wondering, okay, I've registered, I've got my pass, but then how do I get into the sessions I want? One of the ways that is most accessible for this is just to uh, simply go into your email and each week you will be receiving something that looks very much like this one. 
This is the first week, um, it's now basically, but you'll see from June 1st to June 8th in this example, there's a bunch of different sessions that are being offered. Notice for each um, uh, session, there'll be a title and you can click on this to be able to read a description of that session. But please do notice also that there's a register button to, uh, at the bottom of that entry point and you need to click on the, regis the register button and then it will take you to a registration page that looks just like this one. And then you would click to register. Um, so it's as simple as that for each and every track. So remember each week in your email, if you've already signed up and registered for the entire festival, you'll be receiving these emails, which will help you get to the specific events that you're interested in. Okay, so I can go to the website, I can find when things are at that are interesting, uh, but yeah. I've got to sign up and be registered to get um, access to the Zoom links, which are you know for people who have signed up to be part of my fest. That, that's that's the way I'm understanding it, and that's going to come in by email um, and. Um, it looked like for that first one that we looked at, the dark matter one, it looks like it's being offered four different times. That's really good. So I have a lot of flexibility for when I can go. Exactly. And to be honest with you, I think the facilitators in that case might have a little something different each time. So each time you'll probably get something new. It's not a repeat kind of thing typically. So anytime you want to dip in is, is the right time to do it. And people will be sharing and resharing things. So, for example, someone shared a, a music video with that music padlet this morning that was inspired by Felicia's session yesterday with her thoughts and reflections on that session and a specific slide from the slide deck. So by by having these different spaces, people can connect and reflect and share what's going on. So it's not just about, oh, you attended this specific Zoom session for an hour, an hour and a half, but more about how it, it grows and spreads throughout the community of people that are participating in all of these events together. Absolutely. Is, is there some kind of place where like, like we, we have all these different events and they're all spread out, but is like there a place we can ask questions and talk about things? Yeah, there's a special space, it's in Slack. And when you register to get those passes, those general passes, you'll get an invitation to join in in Slack. So you just kind of proceed through those steps. And once you pop into Slack, it's a discussion with all kinds of threads. And that's where you can find people that you might have met in the different offerings, etc. So there's also, of course, Twitter. We have our hashtag hashtag MyFest22. So um, you can find people that way, but the Slack channel will be an active thing for the course of the entire three months and thereafter. Um, so those are ways to connect. Wow, this is pretty exciting. I got. I want to go sign up now, okay? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'll I mean, see I, you guys soon in there. I know, and I, I hear there's blogging going on. I got to get in on that. I got to learn how to blog. I was just looking at that music padlet and it inspired me. I'm going to put in some Kate Bush in a minute in there based yes. on the nice things that happen with my son. <laughs> And that's something, too, that we want to create spaces for uh, people of all ages. And so some people's uh, children have already contributed to the music Padlet. And we also have a, a bookshelf where people are contributing their favorite books. And some people have had their kids uh, uh, suggest books that we could read and share together. So that's all stuff that you can find in that ongoing section of the website. Cool, guys. Well, again, an open and welcome invitation to join us for my fest the months of june july august 2022 it's a renewal and recharge festival i can see, use that. <laughs> see ya bye